everybody. Thank you for joining us. And uh, as people come on, I'm going to try to see that they're coming on and acknowledge everybody. But um, if not, we're going to see lots of people on YouTube also. So yeah. uh, I am Debbie from Designer Draperies uh, in the uh, South Jersey area, serving Philadelphia, South Jersey, the Shore area. Uh, and we specialize in window treatments, uh, shades, blinds, shutters, bedding, and upholstery. Hi. And, and my partner in crime is? Yes. And uh, partner in crime is the right, right term. <laughs> <laughs> I am Rebecca Munster, and um, I own Rebecca Munster Designs in the D.C. area. Um, we also specialize in window treatments, uh, upholstery, and soft furnishings. And then absolutely love what we do. I got to meet Debbie a few years ago and um, we just have so much fun supporting each other, helping each other, collaborating together when we can. And we've been having a lot of fun doing these coffee and curtains. So today we are gonna tackle valances, which is kind of a fun topic, right, Debbie? And I said, I did a little video earlier today telling people to come and I said, and we're not talking about your grandma's valances, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. They are beautiful valances. And, and I was actually, uh, Lorraine, who's one of the people that's on with us today, I was actually saying her treatment is one of our favorites. So yeah. <laughs> kind of towards the end, Lorraine. So if, if you need to log off, just know that you can always find us on YouTube later. Um, but <laughs> Lorraine's an amazing client and with a beautiful home, and I've done a lot of work with her. Um, okay, so before we even talk about the different types of valances, I, I'm just going to do a quick summary on what a valance is, because I have people telling me, oh, I hate valances, and they mm -hmm. may be talking about cornice boards, or they say, you know, and, and a cornice board is actually a type of a valance. Uh, a valance is basically a window treatment that's going to be hanging above your window. It's not coming down with side panels, but there are so many different types of valances. And when somebody says, oh, I don't like the treatment, you know, a, a treatment on a board, when I talk about a board mounted valance, they may be thinking I'm talking about um, cornice boards, which actually I love and do a tremendous amount of them. Some people love them, some people don't. Um, or they may also think that I'm talking, they're not sure when I say it's mm -hmm. board mounted. So we're going to show you the difference between board mounted and what is actually on a board. And we're going to start out with awnings. So, which these awning, are so fun, right? <laughs> so it isn't this, this room was, this was such a fun job to work on a little girl's playroom. I wish I had a beautiful door like that you know, in, in my <laughs> family room, let, let alone a playroom. Anyway, we were trying to look for, some, trying to work up something kind of fun and different for that room. We had done the whole house. You get to a point where it's like, okay, I want to do something really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. And this awning is actually made with boards, with lumber. And then it was covered with a padding and then upholstered. So this whole thing is hard. Not all awnings have to be hard. A lot of them have just a rod in the very bottom of the awning. But basically an awning is a valance or a you know, window treatment that hangs above the window that projects out. Mm -hmm. And usually between six to 12 inches it projects out. And they usually have a cute little valance or a little skirt at the bottom of them yeah. also to, get, to finish them off. Yeah, I've seen so many different ways too. And like little pagoda looking ones, you know, so many different directions. You can kind of take that awning. And what's neat is it does have sort of a three-dimensional aspect, right? And it's sort of, it's a little more architectural than just decorative, right? Right, absolutely. And, yeah. and this next one, talk about decorative. She wanted to have a little bit of kind of, you know, just a... My, my client said to me, I've always envisioned an awning awesome. in my kitchen. It was just what she, she wanted. So they got this new house, and, and so she, she wanted to, uh, to do an awning, and it, I think it looked amazing in there. Yeah, I we also have other clients that have said, I want kind of a cafe look or, right. you know, just something a little different. So, 
So that's that's what we ended up doing there. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi, Debbie. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks. I was so determined to get on here today because I missed last week. Because Yay. I got <laughs> and, and, and real quick, I'm just going to interrupt everything. Uh, Michelle is an amazing designer with our house in Marlton. Great. And we do a lot of work together, but she is a phenomenal designer if anybody needs an interior designer in the area. Okay, sorry, Rebecca. No, you're totally fine. That's great. I love meeting all these people. So cornice boards, remember I showed you, we just looked at the awning, which was made with a board and covered with padding. And a cornice board is, is just that. It's a hard valance. It's covered. Um, it's, it's, and it's padded. It usually has legs down the side to keep it very taut. And the whole thing, it's like an upholstered piece. So um, we're gonna go through, there's, with cornice boards, you can do like a hundred different shapes. You can also add on um, uh, nail heads, yeah. banding, trim. So there's so oh many different God. options. You can get so with creative with cornice boards and just do some really neat things. and. What's kind of cool about a cornice board that sometimes is harder with just a regular balance is you can sort of force the fabric and the decorative things to do what you want because you're attaching it to a board. Whereas sometimes certain fabrics you can't get to lay exactly the way you want because of the nature of them. Right. And the other thing that's nice about cornice boards is if you have an amazing uh, pattern mm -hmm. that you just want to see the pattern. You don't want it to be... Um, uh, you know, uh, you, you just want to see the pattern. That's the yep. beauty of the whole thing. A cornice board is perfect for it. Yeah. This like, is just a simple cornice tight. board in an office. <laughs> yeah. But I love taking, you know, just a little bit of shape on the bottom of a cornice board. Just really makes it special and unique and, and really, and I love like you, you brought that shape just perfectly on that pattern. Because you have to think about those things, right? Yes, yes. Things like that are important. Whenever uh, matching repeats and following lines are, are really important with window treatments. Debbie, remember last week you had a lot of construction noise in the background? Can you guys hear my daughter's giggling? <laughs> yes, but, but in a good way. It's not okay. like the construction that you heard with me last week. Last week, I couldn't hear myself think, oh, it was awful. <laughs> I was laughing. I, I, I had to get up in the middle and, and run and tell the guys doing the construction, you got to stop for an hour. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so this is just showing, this is a very contemporary style. And that, that cornice board is actually scalloped underneath. And we just wanted to bring in a hint of purple. And... Uh, so it just shows that cornice boards can be very ultra contemporary. I mean, look at the look at the chairs and things. So this was ultra, ultra contemporary. But they can also, like the last one, be a little bit more casual, more office-like. Uh, right. So there's so many options. Yeah, that's really neat. I love how you brought that swag off the front of it like that and really like made it like a sculpture. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, this was for a kitchen. Um, this cornice board, um, they had just done, I love it when my clients do renovations and then the first thing they do is to call me to come um, add, just that, <laughs> let, to add that perfect touch to finalize their renovations. It's always so fun. So we had a pretty tight area. She knew she wanted a cornice board. She didn't want anything fussy. She loved the clean lines of a cornice board. We did a slight arch again. We didn't want to be overly fussy, but I felt like with the geometric patterns and all the harsh angles you end up with in a kitchen, that just that slight arch just really made all the difference in the world on this particular one. Um, this is a beautiful embroidered fab fabric. Again, she, I think she her kitchen before this was very dark. So we were like light and bright, light and bright, light and bright. <laughs> With this, that nice pop of blue, she was putting touches of blue all over. One of the things, if you pay really close attention, there is more space on this side than there is on this side. So we had to build the sides of the cornice board thinner than I would normally do so that it could slide right in there and fit just perfectly. And we had to engineer them a little bit interesting 
um, cause it's not as easy to screw the <laughs> thinner boards to the sides of the, the cornice. Um, and then the last thing that we did, which was kind of a fun touch, um, the piping across the top, as you can see, instead of doing it on an angle or on a bias, like we often do with piping, we did it straight across so we could match that pattern right up there along the very top. So it was a fun little finishing touch to this project. It just, it brings in warmth. It brings in pattern. I mean, it just, it yeah. looks so much nicer. Yeah. And imagine if there was nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it looks, a, huge a quick question for you. Yeah. But when you do an inside mount like that, uh -huh. you know, a, a cornice going in between two cabinets, mm -hmm. do you do returns on your cornice? It depends. So on this particular one, I did. Um, I, I love the softness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, inevitably you can see, um, and now I recently did one that was more, I, I call it a soft, um, cornice. Mm -hmm. So we use the skirt text instead of a hard board. Right. Because again, it was a real tight fit like this. And that one, I did pull it around the corners, but I didn't put boards on the corners. And then we, we just, um, kind of affixed it. So that okay. you had a finished look on the inside without the boards. Because we really, in that one, we did not have room to put the boards in. All right. And perfect. And I'm sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm talking. I know a little bit of shop talk. It was... Uh, no, it's good. Everybody can learn, right? <laughs> I, I like having it look nice and rounded as opposed to like it was put in and you see some space on the sides. A lot of times yes. that happens. Yes. If it's not custom and I don't really... I'm, I'm not big on on that so yeah yeah we have a couple of different ways we do that this is a very simple cornice there's no welt on the top or bottom the reason why we've got this one in here is because uh and i, I talked about this i think last week this client or no actually with a client this week uh her son this is her son's room and these are his high school colors and she said, but he's going to be going to college, and I don't think bright orange is going to be in our future. And I said, all right, no problem. What we did was these are um, removable. So the, the tabs on it can be removed, and we could put any other color on it. You know, you can do black tabs. You could keep it blank and just have it plain, but we can also mix in colors. So it is something that is functional uh, to change. I love it. I love it. I like that you brought those stripes down. It just, it feels very like athletic sports. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. This is so cool. Okay. Now, if you haven't been able to figure it out, this is a true Asian room. Mm -hmm. And my clients, lovely, lovely couple. Uh, they wanted something that, that continued with the Asian, uh, you know, Asian inspired. They had the arch window. So I knew that we wanted to pull in some sort of a cornice board, but what we did is the, the little black things on there are uh, frogs, you know, the, uh, ah. the decorative frogs. Yes, like and, you would and, have. Yeah, and uh, like you would find like on a kimono or something. Kimono, yeah, very cool. And so I brought the decorative frogs in just again to, to continue with the theme. I love it. I love it. That's gorgeous. And how did you come up with this? shape truly i couldn't tell you uh i was just i was just kind of sketching inspired things <laughs> and and i just uh and and i full disclosure here the the line on the right side of it that's mm -hmm. coming down that was not supposed to be there the the curve was but the the line was not um that ended up being there because the fabric had to be joined together mm. and it did not join well. Okay. And, and so we kind of went through it and, and that's what we ended up with. And I liked it because it added just a little no, bit I, more to it. What does Bob Grass call those happy accidents, right? It, it was. It was. <laughs> I love and, those. And I didn't tell you the little pattern in that, they're little koi fish. Oh, neat. Oh, neat. So, I mean, it was, it was perfect, you know, it, it was perfect for that design. Yeah, it's gorgeous. 
This is just a simple one from a girl's room. Um, she wanted purple. Often when I'm working with clients and we're going to start young and you know they're going to grow in the room, you know, if you can do black and white with their bright colors, often the window treatment will last longer than the paint color on the walls, which is always great, right? So we just did this fun black and white. We just used a little bit of ribbon here. Um, you know, another thing, another thing that's nice about a cornice board, if you're one of those people, and, and she is one, because you can see she's got these, but these are also blackout lines and can open and close. Um, she, this little girl liked it dark, dark, dark when she sleeps. <laughs> so a cornice is nice because it can block out the light on the top as well if you've got it placed correctly on that window. And what I love about the uh, banding is that it's kind of breaking it up and it, it's just simple things like that. Raise, raise that your window treatment from being more standard to custom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yep. just it's the details that make all the difference in the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was uh, just a dining room. Uh, we, we settled, decided that we were going to do a cornice board, but because the picture is so small, you can't really see, but on this cornice board, not only do we have the shaped bottom, but we banded it. I like to do oh, banding because that breaks up. If you've got the cornice and the side panel the same, kind of like your black and white. Yeah. Right? Yep. It, it, it separates the side panel from, from the cornice. Yeah. And then, and then with this client, she, I was blessed. She let me bling, bring in a little bit more bling, which <laughs> I, I always love a little bit of crystal beading whenever possible. Yeah. That's so pretty. And you did such a great job tying in these fabrics together. Just perfect. Box pleat balances. Yes. Okay. So box pleat balances are board mounted up here. But the fabric here is loose. It hangs straight. And so that's where people always get confused. If I say something's board mounted, they think the whole thing is on a cornice board. All window treatments, just about balances, can be board mounted. Yeah. Uh, and it just means that it, it falls, it water falls off the front of the board. And box plate valances are great because they're very simple, they're very clean and tailored, mm -hmm. but there's so many different options that you can do with the, the spacing of the pleats and things yeah. like that. This one's an inverted box. Um, and also the other thing is you can put box plate valances on poles, which you'll see further down the road. Um, yep. but this is just a simple inverted box pleat with uh, just roller shades under it. Oops, there we go. Love this one. This one, the client came to me. She she came from Florida. She already had the bedding, which I love. Yeah, it's beautiful. And she already had the panels in blue. And uh, I could not believe the, the treatment, the fabric we found for the valance was so perfect. It looked like it was made together. Yeah. And just a simple box pleat, inverted box, was all that was needed to pull it together. Yeah, that's really pretty. And I it really does bring your eye up. Mm -hmm. um, and, and since you've just got two panels on either side, kind of having that balance, which is a little bit heavier up, up top, really balances that out so nicely. I love it. Especially with the weight in the bed. You know, the bed yeah. has, you know, that big floor. Yeah. So it really is a nice balance. Yeah, that's great. This was um, an amazing couple. We went through the, they, they had a custom home built and these are what I call stack box pleat valances. And so instead of on the others where you just see the slit coming down because the pleat is on the inside, these, the pleat, you've got one on top, one on the bottom, one on top, one on the bottom. And I think there might be out. some other pictures that show the stack a little bit better, but I love yeah. stack box pleats. Yeah, it's so pretty. It really gives you a lot of um, variation and um, interest. Mm -hmm. This is another kitchen. I feel like I added a lot of kitchens this time. I didn't realize that. <laughs> That's all right. I love what you got. So it works. Um, 
they painted this as a kind of a dark gray with a little bit of blue in it, white kitchen. Again, they were looking for something interesting. They, you can't see over here, but they had a lot of decorative, like ginger jars and stuff that have that blue and white motif. Oh. Um, so we wanted to pull that all together. Um, there are little box pleats here and in the corners. Um, one of the things we did, and we decided to take it all the way up to the, to the um, ceiling. So we wanted it to hang above the cabin, you know, higher than the cabinets to make it interesting to look at. Um, and to really raise your corner when you raise your, you know, it just brings your eye up to that corner in this pretty corner window. Um, one of the things that we did on this, she was very concerned about um, being able to care for the window treatments because it's in a kitchen. She was worried about, you know, even though they're all the way up here, you know how grease and dirt and stuff travel. So these are um, Velcro on here so she can remove them for dry cleaning. Oh, you're good. Now, what I really like about this also uh -huh. is that kitchens are just typically solid, hard lines, nothing spectacular, unless you're using some of those really fun uh, tiles now that they've got. Mm -hmm. But I love bringing pattern into a kitchen because yes. that's bringing softness and color. Yeah. Yeah. Kitchens need that. We all love our kitchens and we love kitchens, but they need, they need the softness. And, you know, I, I can understand when people don't want to have something soft that comes down here when they're going to be washing dishes and stuff like that. So balances are a great, great option oh, yeah. um, to bring that softness in. Now this, if you look at the light blue one, uh, the pattern, uh, you can kind of see what I was talking about, about the stacked box. Yes. So you've got a little pleat on the top and then you've got the, the, the pleats on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it just, it gives a little bit of dimension, but it's flat. So it's not uh -huh. too fluffy. Uh, on, and you see that we can arch the bottom and add banding like mm -hmm. we did on the one on the right. The one on the left, we added, this was at a shore house and we took um, uh, hemp. Um, I think it's hemp, you know, the cord. Rope, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we, we made knots and put them on That's each. That's very plate. cool. And then I the trim that. on the bottom was actually little seashells. Oh, I love cute. that. So pretty. This uh, actually, same shore house. And <laughs> this is, that was the bathroom from this, uh, from this room. So nice. with this, what I like doing is I like doing banding a lot when, when we have it inset where it's not all the way at the bottom. It's about an inch and a half, two inches up. Yep. And then we can add a little bit of trim at the, at the very bottom. Yep. And this one we just had, it's, it's an inverted box, but instead of doing them like every 12 inches, we did one over on the left and one over on the right so that there's not too many pleats. Yeah, you know, one of the things I want to point out that I love that you did in here, Debbie, was mixing the curtains with the valances, because there's lots of reasons why you might want to do that. But I think, you know, if you would just put these drapery panels here and nothing here, it would have felt out of balance. But you were able to put these valances in, which keep that line nice and consistent uh -huh. up there, right? Um, but, you know, and there are multiple reasons why you might not want to put drapery panels everywhere. You know, some people don't like them close to the bed. They don't want all that fussy stuff in their way, right? Or maybe you're trying to save a little in cost from a, you know, because that's a lot more fabric than a valance is. There might be multiple yeah. reasons why we can do that, but don't, don't um, discount that. Like, that's definitely an option and a way to really bring the whole room together is mixing and matching those drapery panels and valances. Right. Um, this is just a simple block box pleat valance. Um, this was also a kitchen because I'm on a kitchen roll today. <laughs> I did not even realize that when I was adding my pictures. Um, she actually had a valance here before they remodeled their kitchen and it had um, scallops. And for her to switch, she really loved having a valance up there. You know, it's not in her way when she's going in and out of that door, but she loves the softness. 
Um, she's actually a quilter, so fabrics and colors and things really matter a lot to her. She wanted to bring in um, all these different soft colors that are in this particular pattern. And then we put a nice um, piping of a contrasting uh, red up above. So again. let me add something with this. And mm -hmm. I love this treatment. Mm -hmm. A lot of times with, um, it's, it's perfect having a straight bottom when you can on a sliding glass door. Because yes. a lot of people like to bring scallops in. Uh -huh. When you bring a scallop, you either have to bring it down a little bit further or you're going to start seeing the molding in the peak of that scallop. So yep. if you find something where you can go straight across, it, it, you, can, you can still have it at a proper height without, without it looking a little heavy. Yeah, yeah. And there's something, you know, I feel like also um, there is something just so clean and tailored about a box pleat that you almost don't get in these pictures that you get when you see them face to face, you know, but there is just a tailored feel to it. It doesn't feel like a balance that you shoved on a rod and put in a, you know, it right. feels like a nice, clean, tailored, beautiful addition to the room. Nice and crisp. Yes. Uh, this is this is just showing a couple of different options. Again, it's showing a stacked box. It's showing how we match our repeats. Uh, if you if you look closely at the patterns, you can see where it overlaps, where the pattern is pretty much matching each other. And then over on the right hand side, how you can pull in again a couple of fabrics, and uh, you know pull it pull pull it back so that you can see the inside of it. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm many actually. Options. I'm actually working on one now. You know, sometimes I sometimes we want that pleat to sit really clean, like on the last one that yep. I just showed you. You know, you want it tight and tailored. I'm working on one now that's uh, it's kind of a muted floral print, but we've got a real fun pop of color. So we're actually going to attach it so that that you get more of a peekaboo. Oh, that'll be nice. That'll yeah, be nice. yeah, because we'll have an accent color inside that pleat mm -hmm. and it brings so that's always fun yeah um this is one i just wanted to sh show you know sometimes we do just balances and sometimes we do balances and drapery panels um this particular client she's one of my very favorites i love her um she uh, had recently lost her husband and was interested in really updating her home and making some changes because he had been sick for so long. She just felt like she didn't have the time to, to get to some of that stuff. And she loved pheasants. <laughs> she knew exactly what she wanted. And we were able to find fabric that met her, you know, exact requirements which was felt like sort of a miracle but we have this beautiful fabric um and you know we've she's now started to pull in some of that fun teal in different places in the room as she's redoing the rest of the room but you know this is an example where she and she knew she wanted a balance when i walked in she said i want a balance with drapery panels <laughs> so um but it really is pretty and it and it allows you to see that pattern across as well as hanging down which I think is really nice um, and in this particular one you kind of can't tell from that angle but uh, the placement of the pleats was intentional to mirror the way that window is so this this piece in the middle is wider and then the there's the pleats and the two are the two parts on the side are smaller because that's the way the window is so and the nice thing about this is, like I was saying with a cornice, when you look at the panels, you don't really, you see the color, but you don't see the pheasants. Mm -hmm. When you look at the flat top, you get to enjoy mm -hmm. the beauty of the fabric. Yep, yep. Okay, Carlisle's and Kingston Valances, uh, and people call them all different names. Right. So, <laughs> but, but right now I'm just going with the names that I've used for 25 years. Um, they, they have a scoop at the bottom and uh, they can be board mounted. They can be, uh, they can be installed on poles. The Carlisle to me is a condensed version of the Kingston. Kingston's a little bit more formal. Carlisle is a little bit flatter. And you'll see as we go through uh, this one right here is a Carlisle. So you've got a scoop and then you have what's called a bell and then you have another scoop. So, and, and you'll see the bells are pretty flat. 
And with mm -hmm. this, we can contrast the inside lining, add uh, a contrast welting around it. There's a lot that can be done with it just to add some bling and style mm -hmm. to it. Again, it's another one of those that like, it still has pretty clean lines, but it, but it's got movement too. So it's that nice blend of- Right, without being too, too fussy. Fussy, but, but still enough movement that it's interesting. This is the same thing, a Carlisle again, uh, but we brought it into a bay. That's so pretty. And then I wanted something to frame the outsides just a little bit. Uh, I just didn't want it to go up and stop. It needed right. some softness. So we brought so, some little stack jabos in just to kind of yeah. you know, to, to frame in that bay that's area. Beautiful. I think that's the other thing with balance is, you know, there's, you really can get pretty creative and kind of how we mix and match the different styles and bring different pieces together to really create, you know, another piece of art on that wall. That's art there. You're right. Yep. This is uh, in a dressing room that I would love to have. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just a, just a beautiful uh, Carlisle where we only have one scoop and a bell mm -hmm. on each side. And, and then you can't see, but there's a, there's a lot of little bling at the bottom. Yeah, you know, so with, pretty. If you look at the handles in this dressing room, uh, there, there's that, that, that's all sparkling, rhinestones, beautiful. Uh, so it really flows nicely together. It's gorgeous. Now this is a Kingston. So the other Carlisles that you were looking at, they were flat. Mm -hmm. Whereas in this scoop, it's, you've, you've got the softness, you've got the pleating in it. And that is where you see a difference between the two. So this is a little bit more in my eyes. It's a formal, more fussier version mm -hmm. than something that's just flat. So if I have somebody that knows they want something that's got a scallop at the bottom, but we really want to keep it clean. We're going to go with either like a Carlisle or a box pleat with a scallop at the bottom. Yep. So pretty. Again, another Kingston. Window. Now the difference on this Kingston is that at the top where the bells attach, mm -hmm. you see that blue under it? That's a second kind of treatment under it. It's just a flat cornice under it. And then we mounted uh, the Kingston on top of that. We just wanted to be able to bring in some more color. And uh, it, I it, love took that. Away, it took away a little bit of the stuffiness too. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was all one color, it's very formal. You break it up a little bit and it makes it a, a bit more fun. Yeah, I love that. That was such a great idea. This is actually an empire. So on the Kingstons, when you saw the folds, mm -hmm. the folds went all the way up to the top, whereas yes. on this empire, the folds, the folds going down, um, they, they're stitched into the actual horns, the bells. Mm -hmm. I, am, I, am, I, am I making sense? Am I explaining Yeah. That? <laughs> so that it makes sense and then and then we pulled in side panels and beautiful jabos coming down and all the way in the left that is not a headless person um, oh. <laughs> that is a suit of armor very cool and and this client uh they they do a lot with the renaissance period Ah, and this is so, the perfect style. Yep, she wanted something that was going, that's why we've got the dark green wall. She wanted something with weight and really that, that gave that Renaissance feeling. Mm -hmm, that's perfect. So scalloped and Queen Anne balances are other options where we can scoop the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to tell you, I am doing more straight bottoms or maybe one single flat scoop then I am um, lots of scoops. You know, I mean, it's, you yep. know, when things are, I, I'm not doing a ton of scoops all over the place right now. Uh, the scalloped box pleat is just a box pleat with a, with a scallop. So these are all the same size, pretty much scallops. Mm -hmm. If you go to the next one, 
I prefer when we do them larger right now. It gives a cleaner, more contemporary look or a modern farmhouse look. Whereas, yes. uh, you know, when, when you're doing it too scoopy, that to me, um, I yeah, I think <laughs> I think this is great. Like you said, it's it's a it's a cleaner line, and then just the, but just a little bit of scoop. Just as you need a little bit of curve, especially again, especially in a kitchen. Yep. <laughs> just a, a little, little bit, of bit of something to soften it. Yeah, that's I was great. really hoping to do the sink window, but her husband said absolutely not. No. <laughs> I like it wide open, and there's times that where it. we say, okay, not worth the fight. Right. <laughs> if if you want it, call me later. <laughs> right. I was going to say, and sometimes we get those calls later. I finally won. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, but the kitchen was gorgeous. Brand new yeah. kitchen. This Beautiful again, kitchen. just showing you just a simple scoop. Yeah. Nothing to, you know, very tailored, but very tasteful, very clean. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. This is a Queen Anne and a Queen Anne has pinch pleats, pleats at the top mm -hmm. uh so we've got the scoop but then we've got a little pinch pleat instead of that flat horn that i was showing you before mm -hmm. and uh and you know what else i want to say about this one because i i say this all the time to clients because sometimes i'll have clients say to me oh i don't know oh, valances i don't know is it gonna look dated da, da, da. but here's a, i mean this is a very traditional valance but that is the a contemporary pattern so it brings it doesn't feel dated it doesn't right. feel out of place it works perfectly and then you have a more contemporary shade underneath it I mean so I think sometimes we have preconceived notions of what things are but fab the choice of fabric makes all the difference in the world it does. This couple, they're fabulous. They're very young. They've got two little, uh, two little ch beautiful children. And uh -huh. uh, everything that they do has a very uh, more modern, updated look to it. Mm -hmm. And in here, we had so many windows that we wanted to bring some softness in. Yeah. And, and so that's pulling in the contemporary fabric. We thought it really yeah perfect i love it i love that and that that sort of contrast between um the traditional style and the contemporary fabric is part of what makes it work so well that anytime you can bring contrast like that that and make it work right. it's what makes things really that's design right that's yep. that's what we get paid to do right absolutely <laughs> that's, that's why we take all do all of our training and all of that right stay up, right stay up to speed to me these two are twists on um the one on the left with the pattern that to me is a twist of a little scallop box pleat stacked box pleat the one on the right has where it goes up instead of down is again kind of a twist on the queen anne we're just instead of uh scooping it down we're scooping it up which i think I gives it that. a clean look yeah that's really neat is that a like soft cornice or is it a pure balance pure balance it's beautiful it's, it hangs so straight roman balances <laughs> okay um you all know barb you know you, you see us talk about roman balances or roman shades all the time because we love them so much <laughs> uh, but that's because romans are such a huge they're such a popular item right now yeah. uh, this one is just a simple valance where we did a, a soft fold valance uh it's it's got legs on it so that it can hold it nice and taut mm -hmm. uh, you know on the sides and then we brought in again we brought in that banding yeah tabs that can be changed when we change the color of the roller shade it's beautiful and it totally will change the room yep love that you know me i do lots of faux roman balances so. I I and here that. we are here we are in a kitchen again <laughs> <laughs> And this is my sweet neighbor who's getting ready to move. So somebody new is going to get to enjoy this beautiful balance. But um, I had actually helped them do some out updates throughout this whole kitchen. Um, and in doing that, we talked about really needing to soften the space and lighten it up a little bit. They've got a dark backsplash, dark countertops. Like, how can we lighten and brighten it a little bit? Um, 
and but we didn't she didn't need privacy she didn't wasn't worried about the sun um so we did this pretty faux roman again that scoop and those pretty folds just softened it we added some nice stripes um because we made some pretty drapery panels that went in our family room that had those blues in it as well so it just it worked perfectly in this kitchen and just really helped us soften the space and boom just like that it helped it helped sell the house also that, there you go <laughs> I'm positive they said oh, we're buying that house because of that balance. <laughs> a beautifully designed house is going to sell a heck of a lot quicker than something with, you know, eh, store bought. So true. Nothing special. So, so true. <laughs> So this client of mine had a lot of windows and you see they go all the way down to the ground and my, you know, my initial reaction, of course, what do you think my initial re reaction was, Debbie? Oh, drapery panels. Drapery panels. Drapery panels. panels, panels. Drapery panels. You and can ask drapery, Lorraine, that's what I wanted to do in her kitchen too for the longest time. Yep. Dra drapery panels that were not going to work here. That just, it didn't, it doesn't work with their lifestyle. That's totally fine. And she <laughs> loves, she loves her transoms. You know, so we needed to figure out a way that we could bring some softness, bring some fabric, dress up the windows a little bit. Um, she wasn't worried about privacy and light, you know, and so we, we just did these soft faux Romans um, in here and it brought in some of that navy that she was playing with in that room and just, just dressed it up just enough for her. She didn't want it overly fuzzy, just enough. So it worked out really well. We had to, there were are not Palladian shelves here. Oh, so we we had to construct um, a oh. board that would not sag over time. So that was kind of a fun engineering project we did. Especially, yeah, especially that. on those double windows to keep it yeah. secure and, yes. and not sag. Absolutely. I love yeah. the pattern, how you brought the pattern up there because the furnishings are all, you know, solid and neutral. Yeah. We've got some on the area rug. And then I love how you brought it up there because the yeah. walls are also very neutral. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, they've got 10 foot ceilings in here. So, I mean, even, even though those are down a little lower than you think you might want to be when you're in that room, they fill up, up high. This is a pretty I, one. I love this treatment. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, I mean, besides the fact that I, I love it with the light fixture, but this client had beautiful trim and she wanted to show it. I love that. So we're, we're showing the trim up top. We did put legs again on the sides of this because I really wanted it to be able to be taut. I wanted it to be, because we were also going around wood blinds that she had that were sticking out like okay. three or four inches. Yeah. So this way we had it, uh, you know, scallop nicely and then go all the way back so that you couldn't see the sides. I love it. It is just like it fits in there like a glove. It's just perfect. I it's love it. It's so perfect for that room. And I just mm -hmm. love it with the light fixture. I mean, that's. Yeah. 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 Bringing all that together. This one is super, super simple, but uh, don't underestimate simple, right? Like, Absolutely. you know, like so often my clients are like grabbing the patterns and stuff, which is great. I'm happy to do patterns, but sometimes simple does just as well. And this, you can't tell in this picture, this is like a textured, um, solid. So it's got a little bit of texture to it, but what was the, why we did a, a balance here is on the other side of the room, we have actual real, op, uh, Roman shades that work. Um, and there are those, they have, this was one of those sliding doors that had the blinds inside of it. Um, so we didn't need anything functional. <laughs> I know we didn't need anything functional over here, but we wanted to bring the room together, tie it together and just add a little softness. Again, we're right here in a kitchen, sliding doors. You know, sometimes it's hard to figure out what to do with sliding doors. Again, if privacy and light control is not your concern, a balance just does such a great job at dressing that sliding door up a little bit and and adding some softness and you had such a tight space to work with mm -hmm. that actually having the inside i okay full disclosure again i'm not a fan of the inside shades i've had them i love the function of them but right aesthetically, they're not my favorite i always use right. fabric whenever i can but i i have had them and they do function beautifully mm -hmm. um in this area it's so tight that a balance is perfect. Yeah. So the fact that they had those for privacy and then you could have that balance up there, it, perfect yeah. application. Yeah. 
Um, these are also uh, Roman shade balances. This was for a brand new, um, brand new build home. So this gorgeous new kitchen. Um, but again, as gorgeous as her new kitchen was, she knew something was missing. She needed some softness. Um, and when we were, this was one of those fun ones. I always say it's like picking out your wedding dress, right? We, as we were flipping through the fabric samples and we came across this, it just, the colors, that just was perfect, perfect, perfect in this room. And we both went, oh, that's the one. <laughs> and there was no need to look any further. Um, and again, the Roman shade doesn't, you know, this is straight lines, mm -hmm. but we've got, we've got those circles. We've got some softness, some shape, you know, that um, helps to balance out all those square angles in that pretty room. Don't you love it when you find like the, the perfect fabric? And sometimes you have to look mm -hmm. for a long time. Um, but there's other times when it's the first fa fabric you look at. It's like, boom, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. And we wanted to do, you know, these are pretty long windows. We wanted to make sure we had enough folds in there so that it didn't feel like a little scarf hanging up there because it's narrow and long. So we wanted it to have some hips. You know, we wanted it to feel important. <laughs> Absolutely. This is um, it kind of gives that that little uh, modern farmhouse twist to mm -hmm. it. it. Had the angled the angled window, and well, actually, let me rephrase: the window actually starts right about at the bottom of that cornice board. Right there. Oh, right yeah. about there. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we, ha we had the awkwardness of the angle. And so what we wanted to do was kind of pull everything together and raise your eye up because mm -hmm. it's a lower ceiling, you know, and it's, and it's a um, angled ceiling. So yep. that's why we went up to the ceiling and, and we, you know, pull, pulled it down on the angles. Definitely took some engineering with that one, took some work. I bet. <laughs> I talk about the perfect fabric. That fabric, th that bedding was already the client's. Ah. And, and I'm telling you, I think that was the first fabric we looked at. I, I pulled it out and I'm like, oh, this is That's it. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes we have to look, you know, at like 15 other things first, but that was the perfect fabric. Yeah. Isn't it funny too, Debbie, when you find the perfect fabric and then you keep looking and like, even though you see other fabrics you like, you don't like any of them as much as, as, the one you already found and that's that's when you know it's the one right <laughs> and, and what i'll do a lot of times is as we're going through i'll say okay uh -huh. this one or this one mm -hmm. you know, still this one all right yep. that's, that's telling us something you know so yep. definitely helps yeah and i like what you did here you know by by building it into the angle like that it really does make it makes you look up instead of down with that angle Right. which is what exactly what you wanted it to do because you have those stripes and it just it makes you look up thank you and i didn't even think of that one <laughs> you did it <laughs> didn't even think of that one it's a beautiful room uh, this is a faux roman shade that we did and we did several on this main floor in this um home she had young kids um and there were awkward things with the fireplace here um, she also didn't want to cover up much of her window. And this was like yours, Debbie, like the window actually ends uh -huh. like right in there, um, which left a lot of space. And these are tall ceilings, but it left a lot of space. So um, putting a faux Roman shade gave her the softness she wanted. We still kept with the, or um, we still kept with the contemporary look. And um, we were able to hide our motorized roller shades underneath, <laughs> underneath. Perfect. That. Roman. Um, and then, you know, as we were working through our designs and stuff at first, um, we thought about maybe doing black inset banding. And then we found this gray that we both fell in love with and it just, love it that. was perfect. It, it keeps it soft and um, just added a lot. And again, these are really big windows. And that's one of the things I think when you're thinking about faux Romans, I've seen them before where they only have one or two folds. Um, or I, probably two or three, and it can feel skimpy. And on some windows, two or three is fine, right? It's, right. I, I did one over a sink the other, a few weeks ago, and it, or I guess a few months ago. Look, my time is all messed up. <laughs> 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 a few months ago, and we really needed just, we only needed 
I think we did three, maybe four folds in that one because it was just a small window. It was inside bound. But sometimes like on this large, large window, like we needed enough folds that it's believable, right? <laughs> and, and you need the balance. It all comes yes. down to balance and proportion. Yep, yep. This right here, uh, very similar to the very first one you saw. It's just a box yep. pleat. Again, pulling in the banding. Why did we pull in the banding on this one? Because fabric only comes 54 inches wide. This yeah. window was, uh, I want to say like 86 or something like that. So that banding is covering where the seams would be. So yep. you're bringing in A, a decorative touch, you know, so that it's not just plain, but mm -hmm. B, you're hiding, you're hiding seams that That's nobody beautiful. else knows about. And I don't even think my client probably even remembers that there's seams under there. Right. It's <laughs> it so pretty. Uh, and this is another uh, faux Roman with the inset banding um, with just a pretty, pretty floral pattern. It was just a fun pop um, in the powder room. And the banding, that inset banding just finished. Yeah. All yeah. right. So I'm going to go fast because I know we're getting tight on time. Um, Valance is mounted on poles. Okay. So I'm just going to like this one right here is a Kingston. Oops, sorry. It's, we had seen it before with, with the, uh, with the folds in it and the bell, mm -hmm. we just put it on a pole. And that is actually one of Michelle's clients, Michelle. Ah. Um, and oh, I'm right, there. right, right, right. Yes. Yep. yep. Uh, Karen, I believe. Yeah, I look familiar. <laughs> so, She's and, like, and, I know that. <laughs> yep. So Michelle did the whole room and then oh, we wow. pulled that in over on the windows. That's beautiful those cabinets <laughs> wow. those are nice oh i recognize oh, this got those cabinets right yes yes uh -huh. <laughs> oh my goodness they are oh, yeah. in our house they've got great furniture yes. Yes. yes their furniture and their look and like i said michelle is amazing so anybody mm -hmm. in in my area that uh needs you know that goes to our house please you know michelle's awesome okay Thanks, this is mm -hmm. a box pleat balance on a pole, we were just trying to make something a little bit different uh, because it is in a female's office. She fell in love with the fabric. Believe it or not, there was gold that pulled out the gold in the walls. You can't really see in this picture, but we wanted to make it a little bit not as stuffy as a board mounted. Mm -hmm. And uh, she loves it, loves it, yeah. loves it. I have a, you know, um how we attach them to the poles can be different. But in this case, you've got rings, so they go in with the with the pins, right? Right. So I have a client that we did a similar thing because she really wanted to switch it out from like winter colors and spring colors. <laughs> she has a home office she spends a lot of time in and she likes switching it out. And so if we had board mounted it, she would have been up there with the screwdriver unscrewing to switch out. But this way she can just take them out of the rings and then she puts her spring one in and Perfect. it works great. It's a really Perfect. good idea. Love the clients that change their window treatments through. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this, this is easy. just a simple uh, grommet valance. And I'm going to tell you, did uh, Linda from Simply Elegant, one of the uh, designers that I work with, we did this client's whole house and she kept saying, but I want grommets. And we kept saying, no. No, mm -hmm. you're not getting grommets. <laughs> and so finally for her ex, and why do we say no? Because Walmart sells grommets, you know? So I like to do, th I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan typically of grommets mm -hmm. just because everybody does it because it's, it, it's more, it's not as custom looking. This to me is custom. Yeah, uh, we did beautiful. this in her exercise room and it was done. And then I said, okay, I'm sorry for saying no grommets. It looks amazing <laughs> <laughs> yep you can always step it up <laughs> no matter yep. what it is and this again simple kingston on a pole with rings yep love that uh. <laughs> and this is lorraine's window treatment <laughs> i love it i love it so Beautiful. lorraine can tell you actually lorraine and i are still dealing with this room because um she's she's got cushions in the stripe fabric that that we've we're redoing what for the second time now or third time something like that because 
the apron on her table is a little bit deeper and her legs are, <laughs> are hitting when they're ah. So we are getting there. She's been patient. We're getting there. But um, Lorraine and I worked on this for months and months and months. And initially I said, panels, panels, wouldn't it look amazing? And she kept saying, no panels. And I'm like, on a pole with rings, no panels. And then, <laughs> and then she showed me something and I'm like, no scoops. No, no, too much. No scoops. <laughs> and so finally, I started doing something and, and, and I said, all right, just trust me on this. She's like, all right, because I'm like tired. <laughs> but I love the fabrics. I love the fabrics. I know. She, and I guess when we were talking, you knew I had the vision at that point. It finally kicked in and I'm like, I know what we're doing. And she wanted the love mix it. of the two fabrics. And, and because there's so many windows, we could, it couldn't be fussy. Right. Because it would overtake that whole room. Yeah. And this is just so stinking amazing. It's um, beautiful. I and, love and we this. We went room. back and forth, poles, no poles. This treatment, hands down. I'm glad we didn't do any poles. I'm glad you wouldn't let me do panels. Uh, <laughs> because she I, she pushed you. She pushed you to be super creative, and I love it. It's gorgeous. But it's really difficult in this house because these windows are they're almost ceiling to floor, right? Yeah. So you have to be really careful. And my entire home is this way. And, and that's where we had so many different opinions on design. Yeah. This, but this is really perfect. And I have a small dog and he matters, right? Mm -hmm. and I just thought floor to ceiling draperies, not, not going to happen in the kitchen for sure. Right. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love it. This is such a smart design. That's and great. So, and I'm so blessed. Like, I know you are, Rebecca, to have such amazing clients. Yes. Yes. So yes. So oh, oops. What did I just do? I'm sitting here with another piece of fabric. <laughs> oops. Oh, that was, you know what? We already, the other, uh, a, a week or two ago, we showed your bathroom. Yes. Yes. That was your bathroom that you just showed me, wasn't it? Yes. But this is a different, um, different color palette than what is in my bathroom. But this is a piece of fabric that you showed me initially, and I've been keeping it right here in my office drawer. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> for a while, so. Okay, and, and I love what we did. That was, yeah. that was, the, right, that was the right choice. Yes. Love yes. it. I recognize that chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, good. It is? Sure. This is a beautiful bathroom that I got to do. And it's so funny um, because she doesn't really use this bathroom. I think I would like live in there, but <laughs> we knew we needed to soften um, there. You know, sometimes you'll do panels when you're doing a dramatic thing here, but the way this tub sat, you really couldn't do them effectively. So doing a chop treatment um, was the right answer. Um, we kind of came up with this design we drew it out and just we didn't want it to be just a plain box pleat we wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit so we did <laughs> um, one of the things that I think is important when we're doing balances and I know we need to kind of wrap it up here but um, as as design as the fabric designs are kind of moving across the fabric sometimes you can end up with weird things where it starts different than it ends and that can be really distracting to the eye when you're looking at the treatment. So what we did here is we figured out how we could get our ends. So the middle section, so it ended with the curve there and the curve there. And then we actually flipped it around so that we could have a curve going like that and a curve going like that. So Very that nice. they, um, they matched on the ends. So now, now it's not distracting at all to the eye when you look at it and you see, and, and you feel the symmetry of this design, which is what we were going for. Um, and this is one that I did as a um, soft cornice. So this is, it's not a board. There's a board on the top, but then this is, um, and I keep calling it skirt text, but it's that material that you put inside the skirts on furniture. So it's a little heftier. So it just kept it 
a really nice clean line, which it's, is exactly what we were going it for. Some, it adds some stiffness to it. Stiffness to that fabric. Yeah. Yes. I love mm -hmm. how you did the pleats going up like that. I mean, it's kind of like Lorraine's, you know, you start thinking and you start sketching uh -huh. and you keep going. And it's amazing how you start here and between sometimes yourself and your client or sometimes just, you know, coming up with it. But what you end up with is yeah. unique, like what yeah. nobody else is going to have. And that is what's really fun. Yeah. And it was, it's fun how it meets the chandelier because it is a beautiful chandelier. So it really brings, brings attention to it. It's just a pretty, pretty room and really fun to do. So Michelle, <laughs> I'm assuming this is an our house chandelier. That is, that's the Benita. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would know the name. <laughs> it's beautiful. It, yeah, that that treatment just... complements it so well. Thank it's you. like almost like a reverse effect. It's so beautiful. What she did, Rebecca, that's beautiful. Thank you. You should have seen us installing it. One of us standing on this counter. And one of us on that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's always, it's always fun when you're working around a bathtub. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yes. Especially when you're vertically challenged. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, I tease Rebecca because she's, she's about six inches shorter than me. So I can get away yeah. with it. <laughs> I can relate. It's good. I like to <laughs> have yeah, Michelle, you can. <laughs> I like to surround um, myself with tall friends. <laughs> does anybody have any questions, any comments, anything that you would like us to talk about the next time? We, we do post all of our shows on coffee and uh, on YouTube. So yeah. please like us, go on, check them out, send friends Subscribe. there, send clients there, yeah. send family there and invite anybody that wants to come on and join us. 